Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Today is Monday. We just got back from a long weekend. Well, somewhat long, I guess. It was a three day weekend, pretty much. Yeah, the two, a half day Friday, half day Monday equaled um, three day weekend. So anyway, while we were out of town, we did do some sourcing on Saturday morning in a different city. And it was interesting. I, it made me really appreciate um, our sales around here how close together they usually are and you know yeah we were in uh, the area where we were in was somewhat rural miss there were no big huge population centers like we get Baton Rouge uh, area to source from we drove we were out for like what four three hours, hours three hours something like that we drove a long distance and it, we didn't hit that many sales no and then we ended up getting rained out so it could have been like it could have been a lot better but we missed like the last five sales we were planning to go to because it just started pouring yeah and coincidentally uh, those last sales were all kind of grouped together right so that, that could of, have been our money right that there could have, that stunk but anyway we did pick some stuff up some interesting stuff we got some good stuff yeah we did um we hit um some a few garage sales we had an estate sale and then we came across a guy that had um bought Pal like, like a truckload a truckload of returns from home depot maybe amazon we don't know yeah so anyway we're gonna show you what we found these first three things came from a garage sale a couple of hats i think they were a dollar dollar each yep a couple of nasa hats at a dollar a pop here's an interesting thing i read about nasa um did y'all know that anyone can like if you want to create a product to put the nasa logos on do you know that anyone can just request permission? You have to like, I guess have like a mock-up or a sample of what you're gonna do with it. And then you just send it over to NASA. They have a department that controls like the use of their logo. Uh, so it's free to use. You don't have to pay licensing or anything, but you do have to get permission. I was they, just wondering if there was like a um, official, you know, like a um, officially licensed thing anywhere. I don't. They probably just get have keep a letter on file with the permission yeah. or whatever. So whenever you see all this NASA gear out there, um, you don't have to pay anything. Like this, the next hats we're going to look at are those Tennessee Volunteers. You have to pay for that, but you don't have to pay for this. But you do have to get permission to make sure you're not going to put it on something that uh, reflects poorly on NASA, I guess. But I thought that was interesting. They get, I read the article I read said they get like thousands of requests every single day. Most of which are, a lot of which are approved. Some are probably denied. Like, most of it is clothing. Yeah, yeah. T-shirts and hats and stuff. What, what is your favorite NASA logo? Like I love the meatball logo. That's I like the meatball favorite. logo, but this is, uh, this is the one that kind of brought back the whole NASA thing, like it being fashionable can't remember what company it was like one of the big one of the big fashion brands they they brought out the nasa this is called you know what this is called the worm is it worm yep. wormhole where is worm it's not a wormhole it's just, worm. it's just the worm logo and yeah. meatball logos yeah so some i can't remember what brand it was but they requested that they requested from nasa to use this style logo instead of that and it kind of became a thing. And then NASA, they phased this logo out like back in the, I don't know, 80s, 90s. That's an old school logo. And NASA made the exception. They said, okay, we'll bring it back, which was smart. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you see NASA logos everywhere. Yeah. Five years ago, you didn't see them anywhere. Yeah. So. Same sale as the hats. I got this little bank. It is plastic. It looks metal, but it's plastic. It's Hopalon Cassidy. And it's interesting to get your little coins out. You just take his hat off. But the reason I was intrigued by it, we were in Mississippi, but it's from the City National Bank of Baton Rouge. That's probably a little thing they gave to kids for opening yeah, an account. Yeah, open or a something. little savings account and you get a little bank. Right, that's cool. All right, so these next things are from the guy that had the um, bought the um, truckload stuff. These are Tennessee Volunteer hats. Brand new with tags. Yeah, they're and all the new. the you know the yeah. little paper things, and look, they these are not expensive hats. Look, you could tell Dollar General. He also oh he also gets Dollar General stuff. Okay, but yeah, these were brand new for twelve fifty from Dollar General at one point. Mm -hmm. So 
I figure. I mean, we paid a buck a pop. We have yeah. six of them. I we figure. We sell them for ten dollars. If we were selling for ten, we might even be able to sell them for twelve. I don't yeah. know. But uh, yeah, they're, they're nice looking hats too. I think so they're pretty it looks sharp. Like this next stuff came from Dollar General too. There you go. Um, we're back in the hair collar business. <laughs> well, the good thing that what I liked about this is it looked like it was all the same, just couple of products. So I figured even if they weren't worth a bunch, we could make lots or whatever. And so. you're probably thinking that I tested it out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. No. Every time Candace gets in the ocean, the salt water, the salt water just annihilates the color. Strips my color. I'm blonde again. But yeah, so we're gonna lot these up and. Uh, we only have what, a buck each into them, huh? Yeah, it's a dollar each. No, less than that. A, a little less because he said a dollar a piece and he was giving us some decent deals. So I said, hey, how, there's 24 here. Would you take 20 for 24 of them? He said, yeah, it's fine. So some 80 cents, 90 cents, whatever. Same sale. We picked up these Honeywell um, digital thermostats. T5 and T3, they are open box yep but we did kind of glance at each one to make sure all the parts were there and we paid five dollars a piece for those yeah so that that's all the stuff we got from uh from that guy from liquidation guy yeah all right these next items came from the estate sale and it wasn't like a great estate sale but i really like their prices i wish i wish our estate sale companies would adopt that here <laughs> <laughs> um this is a colander now they have it's royal albert old country rose um, I paid 10 for it. From what I could tell in the comps, they sell for 50 to 60 and that thing is immaculate. Ooh, that still has a sticker on it. It's never been washed. Yeah. It's never been used or washed. Oh, night. I thought it was so clean. It must be new. Oh. It is new. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm just, I'm I know I'm throwing off because it says 1962, but that's just some, whatever, some trademark date or something. I don't know. Um, and funny story is they had like the whole, like all the china, the dishes, everything. And so I'm carrying this around. I'm in the back room. Like it was set up on the table. I brought it back room and this guy walks up to me. He works for the state sale company. He goes, oh, you have that? I said, yes. He <laughs> said, some lady is buying all of it. And, um, we were, and I'm like, okay, that's all he said. Some lady wanted to buy all of it. I said, okay. Oh, okay. He never asked me for it and I didn't offer it. It's like, why did you still have it sitting out? You well, know? why would, you know, well, he was probably hoping you would do it. No. But he also knew that you had it in your hand and it, it's individually priced. It's not right. like the stuff was priced as a set. He goes, I didn't have time to price that. And I'm like, there's a sticker on it. <laughs> the funny thing is when I went to pay for it, yeah, a bunch of those dishes were missing, but there were still some over there. So she didn't buy everything. So I didn't feel guilty. You shouldn't. Yeah. It was in your hand. Right. I don't know when, like... Uh, and all that stuff was right by the register. Like, they could have seen me picking up and been like, wait a minute, somebody's buying that, you know? Oh, well. Or, I don't know. Hey, he could have asked you to... I'm sure if he would have asked you to give it back, you would have. Oh, yeah, I would have. I mean, no biggie. But, yeah, cool. He was being very passive. Um, <laughs> we bought a bunch of these old vintage trophies. We, we usually do pretty good selling them. We do very well, actually. Yeah, this is great. It's a, a chess one. I've never seen that before. It's awesome. It's it's heavy metal. It does have some... Corrosion. A little bit of corrosion, but overall, it's, it's pretty good. It's and unique, yeah. I just have to tighten that bolt, but it's... Yeah. yeah. And we paid half of what's on these stickers. Right. What does that say? Chess what? Chess champ. champ. Oh my 1971. god. 1971. That is so cool. Look, <laughs> Chess champ 1971. You gotta like that. Yeah, That's we awesome. always pick up these heavier trophies, these vintage trophies. They, they usually, we don't have any problem selling them. Yeah, this is an old metal bowling trophy. Whatever they're marked for, um, let's see. Half. Yeah. Two, four, Second seven, Slidell eight, tournament. Yeah. Bantam first place doubles, 1970. I like that. Ooh, base made in Italy. And then this is a old basketball. That's a nice basketball trophy there. It doesn't there. have any plaque on it, so we don't know That's, here. Which is good. I like the uh, little crown on this one. I thought that yeah. was Yeah. They should have put that on the chest trophy. Yeah. So yeah, $2 a piece for all those. And then these are some um, Congress, United States Congress coasters. I'm like, I'll try to take them They're out. metal though, which is odd for a coaster. Yeah. They're What's odd. on the bottom? Take one. Nothing. You, Oh, on the bottom of a coaster? Yeah. They're just like wedged in there. I, don't, I have no idea. Oh, Nothing. okay. Yeah. They are, but they do have some kind of padding down there. Or they're very nicely made, and they're in this nice presentation box. Which yeah. 
They're cool. I don't know if they were given to congressmen or. Is what. there a congressional gift shop? <laughs> There's nothing on it, which makes me think it was like a gift to congressmen or something. So if you go visit Congress, like whenever you leave the big room where they all vote or whatever, does it empty out? Does the exit go dump you out into like a gift shop <laughs> where they have where they sell a bunch of stuff, trinkets? This was something unique. We, you know, we like to pick up unique belt buckles, and this has a Canon camera on it and the Canon logo. It's a Canon F1 SLR. We paid two fifty for that. Yeah, I think that's worth. It's only worth like fifteen to twenty dollars, but it's really neat. This next thing was. I don't know if it's a bad or a good buy because I couldn't find any comps anywhere. Like I, I searched for it. It's a um, it's a London bus, and it's a pet carrier. <laughs> Ten thing. London Fleet Street. Yeah, and there's like, look, there's animals in there. But yeah, uh, we paid six dollars for it, and I don't know, I don't know how much we're gonna ask for it because I haven't been able to find any comps. It's got to look like a little rust on the on some of the metal parts, mm -hmm. but I think we'll be able to clean the rest of it up pretty good. And there's no, it's like no plastic. Damage, yeah. There's no like tears or yeah, no cracks or anything like that. It's by Alco Carrying Cases, New York. Yeah. That's a very vintage looking logo. I know it is. So, There's no doubt it's old. We'll see. It even came with a blanket and a brush. <laughs> yeah. I actually used it. Maybe I'll use it for cinnamon. It's cool. <laughs> Alright, these next things are all for one garage sale. Um, this is a sealed uh, Puzz 3D game. They usually do pretty well. It's got a little dings in it, but it's still sealed. What is that, Empire State? Yes, the Empire State building. Yeah. And this was a game we've never seen before, a five minute dungeon. Did you look this up? No, but I figured if even if we couldn't sell it, we could we'll, play we'll it. We'll use it to play, yeah. We may we may play it. Baby Barbarian, look at that. It's supposed so, to be like a real quick role playing game or something. Okay. Oh, most fun you can have in five minutes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I question if that's really the most fun you can have in five minutes, though. <laughs> I've had some pretty good five minutes before. Anyway, we paid five dollars <laughs> for these two five minutes of fun. That's They're not two five minutes of fun, are they? Five minutes we of fun. We paid five dollars for both of these things together. Five minutes of fun. <laughs> Man, that is so weird. <laughs> that is really kind of dirty sounding. All right, the next things we have are Apple TV, a Sony camcorder, and this is a power supply for what? That's for the camcorder. For the cam, okay. Yeah, this, that's, uh, this thing is like tight because it, they wedge the, uh. Oh, uh, gotcha. The remote control in there. So for all three, oh it is. I don't even know how it opens. Yeah, I don't think we, I don't want to tear it. We'll pull with that later. All right. Um, so we paid 15 for all of this right here. Yeah, and this is an Apple TV, some generation. I don't know which generation it is. Man, look how clean this camera is. I know, but the really cool thing I thought was this Sony, this is a DCR PC 105. If you look down here. Oh, no, they, they left their tripod mount for one of their tripods they were trying to sell. Uh, yeah, DCR PC105. This is a, um, I believe it records either to memory stick. It says memory stick slot. Or, I think it may record to DV also, but maybe not. I'm not sure. But I, I did look up the some comps on these things, and to me it looked like probably at least a hundred bucks. Okay. So, if not a little more, depending on if it works or not, of course. It's so clean, I just can't see it not working. I doubt it. I doubt it doesn't work too. I'm trying to figure out if this thing actually uses uh, tapes or not. I think I it does. I don't see where it would go in. There, there has to be an eject somewhere. Huh, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't use tapes at all. Yeah, I really don't know. I haven't looked at it since we bought it. And then our last things are these two speakers. They're Edifier brand. Edifier. I've never Edifier, heard of that before. Edifier, um, They were asking 20 and they took 10. Yeah, because after we had, after we had piled this, I'm like, hey, can I get these for 10? And they took it. I couldn't believe it. They're nice looking speakers. Too. Look how clean. Wood grain. Um, they've just got little details on them. They're really nice looking. And they, they're also powered. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe I'm going to need. Yeah, it's no big deal. Oh. Just a little connector from there to there. 
I don't know what you call it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Right speaker. Mm-hmm. What? I'm trying to figure out. I mean, that's the only way. I know. Oh, I get it. Never mind. Okay. So this, so you, you have a cable going. This is your power. This is, okay. This is, okay. This, you have, you bring your signal in here, input, and then this speaker gets its signal from that. And then you have, this is actually an out from here to here to provide power for this one. Okay. That makes sense now. It took me a second. Man, right. I figured that out before you. I think you did. I did. Wow. You looked those up. I didn't look them up. I did. Do you remember what I said? Maybe like 50, 60 bucks? No. What did I say? I like 140 to 150 dollars. That was like two days ago of camping. Yeah. Look, they have a little uh, volume and bass and all that stuff yeah. right there. Treble bass. Yeah, these are cool. I could tell. Like sometimes when you pick something up you're, or you, you look at they're, something. They're good quality. Yeah, yeah. It, feels, it feels like money, you know? Yeah. So... But that's everything yeah it was uh you know we we were on we were on like a little mini vacation but it was nice to kind of supplement the stuff we're going to list this weekend with, with that yeah so that is everything we got um in a couple hours like for the time we spent i'm pretty happy with the potential profit i think we're going to have here too i think we probably got at least three to four hundred dollars in profit i think but, it paid for our trip yeah probably kind of did like we, we did. didn't we, we didn't spend that much money we stay at like state parks usually it's like 30 dollars a night and cook around food so yeah yeah it was a good trip though we are going to be uploading a uh, video about that trip if you're interested over to getaway gang uh here in the next day or two so thanks a bunch for watching we will see y'all again Soon. i'll i'll commit to tomorrow, tomorrow. we'll see y'all again tomorrow all right bye